book of Acts in chapter 2 this was when the day of Pentecost okay it came and the disciples were in the you know the upper room right and the Holy Spirit fell all right like fire from heaven, okay? Let me read it, let me read it. First, let me say this, okay? Um, this word is for somebody that's in pain, all right? It's in regret. No matter which, which, doesn't matter the place that you're in, all right? So I'm not just, I'm not, I'm talking to someone who has done something, okay, that they are sorry for, okay? We've all done things, okay? I say this all the time, right? And while I sit on the side that I'm on, right? And I say, you know, what the wicked have done, okay. In God's eyes, truly, as human beings, we're all wicked, okay? All sinners, right? So I don't speak, I don't ever speak, and I don't want to come off as speaking as if You know, we never have any wrongdoing, right? Because we do. We do, right? We're not better than the next person in that sense, right? We are all sinners, okay? So I'm speaking to someone who is in deep sorrow, okay? I'm trying to put this as delicate in his humbly as possible, right? Because this is how God is coming through to me, to this person, okay? God knows that you have done some things, right? In ignorance, in fear, out of hurt, in pain, okay? God said he loves you nonetheless. And when you see this video, you'll know who I'm talking to, okay? God said he loves you nonetheless. It doesn't matter if you're in trouble right now, right? With need to be trouble, punishment, Okay, God punished those that he loves. Okay, you may not know God in the way that you should. You may not even have an interest right now to know God. You may be angry at God, okay, for whatever reasons, right? That's okay. God loves you nonetheless. He really wants you to receive this. Because what he showed me 
and and he showed me who the person was, but I'm not at liberty to say. But what he showed me, and I felt your pain. Okay, you're in a place where you're stuck. Okay, because you've done some unfavorable things, right? Which we all have. Okay, we all have. And you feel like you don't know what to do. Things are falling apart. Things aren't going the way that you thought they were going to go. Okay. Whether your plans were good or bad. More than likely not so good. All right. But again, God corrects those whom he loves. Whom he loves. So that means you're going through what you're going through. Because he's trying to correct you. He's trying to correct you. Why? Because he loves you. Whether you want to believe it or not. He loves you. You've been pacing back and forth in your in your your room like a small apartment, a studio, and crying on the edge of your bed, crying real hard on the edge of your bed. Okay. Life just isn't it's not really going the way that you planned it, okay? I'll just say that. I'm trying to take my time with this message because God is trying to get get it to you that He loves you, alright? He still has his hand on you, okay? There is a spirit of witchcraft over you. Okay, you dabbled in the dark arts. Okay, that's all right. New Age had me at one point. Tarot cards. So we've been, I've been there, all right? That spirit is of a rebellious spirit. Witchcraft is of a, a rebellious spirit, okay? It makes you think that you're powerful, that you're, that you're God, that you can make your own reality, that you can create your, it, it gives you all of these false notions, okay? Witchcraft is in direct opposition to God, direct opposition. Okay, so that spirit doesn't want to give you up. Listen to me, listen. Hear me out. That spirit doesn't want to give you up. But God is more powerful than that spirit. Or any other spirit for that matter. And whether you know it or not, somebody is praying for you. Somebody has been praying for you. And they haven't stopped praying for you. And whether it's today, tomorrow, or next week, God is going to deliver you. Because you belong to Him. You may have anger at God right now. You may feel like God worried you when things were happening to me when I was a child. When nobody loved me. When people treated me like the black sheep, when I was neglected, rejected. 
which caused you to neglect and reject others. Okay? That's when that came upon you. Let me read this. All right, listen. Don't don't click off. Listen. Acts 2. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it fell it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them clothed in tongues like a like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave utterance. 2 and 11. Cretes and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of God. It was 11 as soon as I looked at them in the clock. 22. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know, him being delivered by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of God, ye have taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain. whom God hath raised up, having loosed the pains of death, because it was not possible that he should be holden of it. The Holy Spirit is speaking to you right now as you're watching this, okay? You're determined. God knew you before, before. Listen, before he put you in your mother's womb, before. You're not insignificant. You're not here by mistake. You're on purpose. You are special to God. Why do you think the devil has his grips around you so tight? And has you diving deeper and deeper and deeper into witchcraft? Because he doesn't want you free because he knows your purpose in God. You are destined beforehand, okay? You are destined beforehand to work in God's kingdom, not in Satan's. Satan can't offer you nothing but death, but death. God loves you. This is the main thing the Holy Spirit is having me push to you. God loves you. You've been crying on the edge of your bed. Okay? You haven't been sleeping at night. Okay? Because of something you did. Mistakes you've made. Okay? Against somebody that you thought you didn't love. But deep down, you do. You do. God is going to deliver you. He's going to save you. But you must be corrected, okay? I get corrected all the time all the time. I'm God's hard-headed child. He has to heal your heart, 
okay? You can't carry around. He doesn't want you to carry that around no more, that hurt, that, that pain, that ne neglect, that rejection from your family, from the people that you call your friends around you that are not your friends. to go through a little bit but God is going to save you you're already predestined you're predestined that means before God already before God put you here he already knows your end he already knew your ending where you're supposed to be it's not under witchcraft. I see you. I know who this is too. <clears throat> I'm not going to say it because it, I'm not trying to. <sighs> God sees you. He's showing me you on the edge of your bed crying. Feeling alone and trapped and upset and frustrated. You feel like you let something slip through your fingers. That person you heard, they, they love you. They love you. They haven't stopped loving you. He knows you want to call them. He knows you want to contact them. He knows you're afraid of their reaction. He knows you're embarrassed. He knows. And it's okay. You don't have to feel insignificant like you don't have anything to offer. You don't know who you are yet. You don't know what you possess yet in God like I said you are special to God you don't have to compete with nobody you have your own unique gifts that God has given to you specifically for you and a path for you that nobody else can walk but you this message wasn't supposed to be that long but God is trying to get over he's trying to get through to you to let you know that he loves you he's there with you his hand is over you protecting you yes you're going through some things right now absolutely because of the consequences of said actions but his hand is over you nonetheless you are still his child even in your ignorance the bible says my, my, my people perish for a lack of knowledge it's just a lack of knowledge that you have or don't have person you hurt is not mad at you. It's not mad at you. And maybe you want them to be mad. They're not mad at you. They're not. They love you. They've always loved you. Even though you hurt them. They still love you. That's God's love. You're still in their heart. You've never left their heart. You don't have to 
feel ashamed. We've all made mistakes. We've all done things wrong that we weren't supposed to do. We've all done things wrong thinking that we were doing right. Or doing evil from hurt and, and, and fear and not caring, just not caring about ourselves, about anything. But you're cared about. God loves you. He cares about you. The person you hurt loves you and cares about you. And you know of whom I'm speaking of. God's going to deliver you. All right? You might have mixed feelings right now. You might not know what to feel right now. That spirit of witchcraft is going to battle you. It's going to because it doesn't want to give you up. But it's going to give you up. In Jesus' mighty name, it's going to give you up. It's going to release you. By the power of the blood of Jesus, it's going to release you. God's timing. All right. God loves you, all right? I love you. I do. Absolutely. So message you're gonna be all right God corrects those that he loves all right remember that he's there all right I love you God loves you know who you are. <sighs> wish I could say, wish I could be more intimate with you right now, but I'm, I have to keep it. <laughs> Can't say your name or nothing. I love you. God loves you. All right. <laughs>